is the word of God. Give us the Bible take. What's the Bible take? We need the Bible take. Bible take. With Neil and Rhonda. Hello. Hello, hello. Welcome to Bible Take. Bible Take. I'm Karanda. And I'm Neil. And listen, for the last two shows, we have been talking about Mel Holder. Yes, Mel Holder. I cannot wait. And for those who are not familiar with Mel Holder, this guy, he has been, he's 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 rarely known. That's right. He has been on uh, TBN. He Mm -hmm. has been been, uh, interviewed by, uh, by the guy who I really, really love. Uh-huh. Who is a true man of God? Yes. He's a, he's a famous actor by Clifton Clifton, Clifton Davis. Clifton Davis, yes, yes. yes. Uh, he has been. I can't I can't start a name. Okay. He plays all sorts of instruments. I heard from yes. saxophone, soprano yes. saxophone, yes. tenor yes. saxophone, yes. bass. Oh my goodness, keyboard. He the has, list goes on. He, he has, is awesome. Yes, he has music. Uh, he got uh, music videos that's out. And, and, and I even and heard he has a movie. He's he's an actor. Yeah, he's yeah. been in different TV shows. Yeah, this yeah. guy is awesome. Very talented. Very humble and man we, of God. And yes. we, we are so blessed to have him. Oh, that's the phone ringing. Is that the phone ringing? Hold up. Answer the phone. Uh, hello, this Bible take. Yeah, uh, can I speak to Neil or Karanda, please? Uh, yes, you have Neil and Karanda on Bible We're take. We're right here. How are you? Hey, Who's... this is Mel Holder. I just oh. landed. Oh, I'm this trying Mel. to find you guys. Hey, this Are you in right Greenville? Now. You landed in Greenville? Yes, I'm in Greenville. Awesome. Okay. PGV, right here in Greenville. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, Mel, you are like four minutes away from us. Four minutes. Awesome. Okay, well, I'm going to find my way over to the station. Okay. And I just can't wait to be with you guys because I know we're going to have a great time. Absolutely. I have some, get, I have some new stories to tell you. Ooh. New experiences. I can't oh, wait. Oh, wow. I am just burning with knowledge and things I want to share with you. Outstanding. Okay, outstanding. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We're going to take a break. Emil, uh-huh. uh, uh, go ahead and get in your car and head on over here because we're going to take a break. Uh-huh. And uh, when we come back, Mel is going to be sitting right right wait, here. Do you want to interview him or you want me to do it? You can interview him. I'll, I'll take control in the in the, in the Okay, guys, don't fight. I'll control. be there shortly. Don't, don't <laughs> okay. Drive safely. Okay. Okay. Drive okay. safely. Listen, we're taking a break, and we'll be <laughs> right back. <laughs> I choose to believe in Jesus Christ and his teaching. I believe he is the way, truth, and life. Without Christ, I am nothing. Because mommy and daddy brainwashed me. There are things in life that you just know in your heart are right. That is why I am a... I was born into a Christian family. Because I need a psychic, a personal relationship with the Lord. Not my parents, not my pastors, not my friends, but my... I was called to serve the Lord. I want others to know him as Lord God and Jesus as a Savior was an atheist, but God supernaturally changed my life. Light doesn't make sense without... In Christianity, I knew that I am being loved. No point in life full of sins, but life in Christ is joy and peace. Christianity is God's attempt to reach man. That is why. That is why. I am. I am. A Christian. A Christian. A Christian. Hey, welcome back. As we promised, he made his way from the airport. He's sitting right here. The world renowned... Everyone knows this guy, Mr. Mel Holder. Mel, welcome to Bible Take. Hi, Neil. It's nice to be here. It's great having you here. So, uh, so tell me, um, you know what? I just want to jump right into it. Okay. I mean, I mean your accolades is like forever. <laughs> okay. And this is only a short show, so I want to jump right into it right now. Tell me the project that you have right now. Your 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 latest project. Well, I'm, work, I'm working on several projects right now. Okay. Uh, I do have uh, Mel Holder Music Book Volume 2, Back to Basics, which has been completed. Uh, okay. It's not released, but it is completed, so that's on the horizon. So I'm real excited about that. Also, I have another project called Back to Basics itself, which is a 
more of a crossover smooth jazz type project okay. that's more uh, catered to mainstream, but it has music that really ministers and really ins inspiring. So I'm also working on that. And then also I'm working on a new project right now that is so new, so hot, I can't even give you all the details, but it's basically dealing with worship and praise and bringing uh, a oneness of mind to the music industry and ministry. So it's something that I'm working with some notable people in the industry and I'm really excited about that because I look at music as a tool. It's a very necessary tool in this society that we live in and I like to take it and use it as a ministry tool so that we can see uh, increase in the kingdom. You know, uh, with all these uh, projects that's going on, who who are you work? Who are some of the people you're working? Oh with? well, I, I, one of the people that I'm working with that we just finished uh, a project with is uh, Gerald Austin from the Manhattan. Yes, Gen. yes. And uh, that yes. was a, a a really great experience. He had uh, a great contribution on my project, and as a result of that, I produced his project. So uh, you look forward for a Gerald Austin project, which will be coming out. Uh, I'm real excited about that. I'm real excited about his talent. And it's just a good feeling to work with people who are good people and good talent. Mm -hmm. And whether no matter what they're doing, you know, because sometimes we prejudge people. They think because they're singing this kind of music or doing something in the industry, uh, you put them in a certain category. But when you really get a chance to meet people and talk with them, work with them, and see that they're in the simplest uh, form of how we deal with things that they really have a love for Jesus wow. and that they serve him and they realize that their skills, talents and abilities are solely a gift that God entrusted them with and they're on a path, they're on a journey okay. to uh, take these uh, skills and talents to the world. Well, you know I have been known uh, Mill Holder for, for a long time, for years and this brother here he, he's such an inspirational to me he taught me a lot, not only about the production, because he does, you, you you do your own production, yes, correct? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, not just by productions, but by uh, life itself. He's uh, He and I, he had talked spiritual with me. The brother is very logic. He, I mean, he's he's a truly a man of God, and I just love him. I really love oh, thank him. You, I love Neil. you so much. <laughs> thank and you. I'm also following you. <laughs> I mean, I see this guy on uh, TBN. I was watching TBN one night, and, and Clifton Davis, who was one of my favorite of all time mm -hmm. as far as actor. You know, he started in That's My Mama yeah. and, and the latest one he did with Herman Sherman. Uh, uh, right. George Jefferson yeah. was our amen. Mm -hmm. um, I'm watching him and he introduced Mel Holder. <laughs> I mean, I was blown away. I was really blown away. And Mel came out, you came out and you did your thing, you know. Oh, you did. Hey. Now, I'm no Clifton Davis, okay? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I do want to bring up some points about your music video. Now, yeah. you know my favorite, but, <laughs> but, but before we get to my favorite uh, music video, can you tell us some more um, music videos that you have, and how can they... Um well, I have a few music videos that you can access right now on YouTube, uh, When Your Spirit Fills the Room, uh, yeah. Always Been There, uh, Righteous Horns, uh, there are, you know, a couple of others out there, and, and I'm real excited about the one that I just finished, it's not out yet, but the new vi music video, Back to Basics, uh, featuring myself and uh, Gerald Austin, and I had uh, just a, a great time working wow. with him and my creative staff, Travis Milner and uh, Thurston O'Neill. These are uh, people on my creative staff and who are my co-producers and co-workers with me as we get this work done. And it's just such a privilege to share my talents and share my skills with these individuals and to work mm -hmm. and, and come forth with projects that are not just quality projects, but projects that minister to people. Right. And I believe that they can have an impact in making a difference in someone's life. Man, that's awesome. Now, we are going to have a music video, uh, my favorite. Okay. I mean, I, I love all of your material, <laughs> okay. okay? But this one here has happened to be my favorite simply because this this music video was um, filmed in not only in New York, okay, but it was filmed here in Aiden. Oh, Aiden, yeah. North Carolina. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and I was part of the production. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's why it's my favorite. Okay. And the title of that video is Always uh, Been There, and we're going to show a clip of it right about now.
Wow. I love that video. That's my favorite video. And like I said, it was filmed here in Aiden and also up in New York is where uh, where you're from, correct? Right, yeah. My hometown is Brooklyn, New York. That's Brooklyn. right. That's right. So what do you think of Greenville? Quick. Oh, I love Greenville. I love the North Carolina area. Uh, when I come down here, it's like a sense of uh, tranquility, a sense of peace. And I even sometimes believe that Jesus was a North Carolinian. <laughs> 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 He called North Carolina <laughs> North Khaki. Khaki. Okay. But uh, <laughs> I, I, um, I enjoy it down here. It gives me uh, a time to reflect, a time to get away from the hustle and bustle of the city yeah. and just kind of let my mind get into a creative state. And out of being here, a lot of my creative flow, a lot of my creative ideas were birthed right here. So now you guys just saw uh, what Mill does. I mean, he's one of the best saxophonists I, I ever heard. As a matter of fact, he used to play way, way back in the day. Way back in the <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm going to bring this up, Mill. He used to play saxophone for one of my favorite, when I was back in the world, one of my favorite group, which is KC and the Sound. Oh, yeah, that was a long time ago when yeah. I had to hear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he had, he had hair there. I had hair. <laughs> oh, the phone rang. Uh, Karanda, that's the phone? Yes, we have a call in. Okay, you gonna answer? Hold on one second. Hello, you've reached Bible Take. Yes, uh, how are you? My name is uh, Pastor Kenneth Joyner. Uh. Hey, Pastor Joyner, how are you? <laughs> I'm wonderful, I'm wonderful. I was just enjoying the show. Awesome, awesome. Guess who we have in our studio audience today? Yeah, I hear one of my favorite, my favorite <laughs> saxophonists. Yeah, Brother Mel Holder. I'm glad to be a part of this. Yes, we're glad that you tuned in and called in today. Yes. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm just waiting to hear from Mel. Maybe I, I can I hear him play one song <laughs> or do something. You know what? We can make that happen. <laughs> Here at Bible Tape, we can make that happen. You want to make it happen? Let's make it happen. Yeah, you feel like playing something? Oh, I don't have my, I'm not set up right now, but we, I'm quite sure we can make something happen. Okay, but, uh, we make it do what yeah. it do, right? <laughs> but I, but, but that, I, I just want to let, let everyone know that uh, I had a most blessed, occasion to be honored to do a duet uh -oh. with Pastor Joyner. <laughs> and, 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 we, and we did it. He came on. <laughs> and I just, had to, I just had to put my saxophone down. He came on with his saxophone. And it, blew was all, it blew me away. <laughs> and, and he had one of those fancy saxophones. It was, was all, all gold and red and, and blue and all them colors. I said, my goodness. I had to come down to North Carolina to have somebody to have a horn that's brighter than mine. I said, God, to God be the glory. But uh, I thank God for that time that we had. And he he, I mean, every time I'm down here, Pastor Joyner, it's just such a blessing to me and just to be able to share. And I remember a couple years ago, they really reached out and did a little surprise for me on my birthday wow. and, and wow. Uh, just made me really feel really warm and really welcome. So anytime I'm in the area to fellowship with you guys and just share what God is doing in my life and share with you guys, it's well, definitely you know, I, a, a I must privilege. I'm going to say this too, Mel. Not only is he an awesome pastor, he's my pastor too. Amen. You know, he's, uh, he's such a wonderful person. And Pastor, you still there? I'm still here. I'm the still time, here. The time that Mill is talking about, I remember that time. Oh, yeah. We had great, great, great time during that, that season of our, our lives. And, and I tell you, Mill made me feel so good playing that saxophone along beside him. But during that time, uh, 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 God really blessed the church and blessed the yes. people. And yes. There was so much deliverance Ooh. going on during yes. that time. Yeah. And, and it's more to, to it than just making a sound with a saxophone, right. but it's a ministry. Mm -hmm. yeah. And yeah. I thank God for the ministry that, that God is using through Mel Holder, and yeah. God is really blessing him. And I just thank God for that. Amen, amen, amen. I, I thank you again. And, you know, we, we can't have this conversation without uh, giving a special acknowledgement and a shout-out to Henry Davis. That's oh, yeah. Right. That's right. That's right. Mr. That's Henry. That's my good buddy, Henry, that made yeah. this, this connection all possible. Absolutely. And Absolutely. God really worked in his life. Uh, 
to kind of bring us all together. And he's very, Henry was the first one that brought me down to this area uh, years back. And he, we did a, our first concert. He, I forgot where it was, but yeah. he introduced me to this area. And as a result of that time, he took a chance on me. He didn't really know yeah. who I was or what yeah. I did and yeah. where I came from, but he took a chance and he brought us into the market and we've been coming back since then. So we thank God for his efforts. Man, and that's awesome. That's awesome. You know, we, we might have to, uh, can we take a break and come right back? Cause we sure can, but let our viewers know, how can they get in contact with you, Mel? Well, you can reach me simply at my website, which is melholder.com, or you can also find me on Facebook, which is also Mel Holder. Just look for the page. You'll see me there. And uh, you can also, if you need to book for booking information, you can call the office. The number is 718-485-5550. That's 718-485-5550. And someone will be there to answer your call. And whatever your ministry needs are, we're sure that we'll be able to accommodate you. And if you need a booking, if you need a seminar, whatever it is, uh, I'm quite sure that we are able to work with you and uh, come into an agreement that we can uh, do some co-work in labor in our ministry. Now, Mel, you have been on major network television, so you know how this works, right? Mm -hmm. when, I, when, when my producer said we got to go into a break. Okay. We got to go into it's a break. It's time to go. It's time to go. <laughs> time to go. Got to do okay, that. Listen, uh, mm -hmm. we have Mel Holder in the studio, and we have my pastor, Pastor Ken Ray Jordan. Uh, pastor Jordan, are you going to stay with us? Yeah, I'll, I'll be around for a while. I'll be around for a while. So please don't go anywhere. Uh, I'm coming back, of course. Mel will be here, and Pastor Jordan will continue on being on the telephone. So we'll be right back. I choose to believe in Jesus Christ and his teaching. I believe he is the way, truth, and life. Without Christ, I am nothing. Because mommy and daddy brainwashed me. There are things in life that you just know in your heart are right. That is why I am a... I was born into a Christian family. Because I need a savior, a personal relationship with the Lord, not my parents. Hey, welcome back to Bible Take. I'm sitting here to my left with Mr. Mel Holder. And also on the phone right now is Pastor Ken Ray Jordan. And before we go any further, Pastor Jordan. Yes. Uh, can you tell us where, uh, what church you pastor and the name of it and how to contact you? You know, just, it's just a, just a plug-in. I'm trying to get you a plug-in. Yes, I've been blessed to be the pastor of the Hattis United American Free Will Baptist Church located uh, right off Highway 11 south of Winterville, North Carolina, between Winterville and Aden. And now uh, we're there every second and fourth Sundays at 11 a.m., and we have Bible study on Tuesday evenings at, at 7 but uh, just prayerfully, you can stop by and see us anytime. And uh, we're just there to have a good time and just glorify God and just be a servant of him, the Most High. And you hear that voice? That's why he's my pastor. It's something about his voice. <laughs> hey, I, I, but serious, you need to go. And if you don't have a, uh, a church home, please visit Head of Chapel. Please visit. Give it to us one more time, the address, Pastor. Come on by and see us on Highway 11. Our, our, our physical address is 111 Sunset Lane, Sunset Acres Lane, mm -hmm. uh, Winterville. But our, our location, physical location, is Highway 11 south of Winterville, right on Highway 11. Easy to find. Just stop by and see us. And my number is 252-717-9541. And the Bible teaches us that we must study to show ourselves approved. And and uh, and if you don't have a um, a, a home-based teaching uh, church, please go to Pastor Jordan Church. He's an awesome teacher, a great teacher. I learned so much under him. But Neil, we're quickly working on right now the plan of God's salvation and the meaning of your salvation to you on Tuesday nights. That's awesome. That is so awesome. Well, there you go. There you go. Okay. Now, let's talk to Mr. Mel Holder. Uh, before we go any further with you, uh, Mel, give your contact information. Also, uh, give the, how people can, you know, get a copy of your uh, DVDs and right. book. Because you wrote a book, too. Yeah, yeah, The Pursuit yeah. of Your Creative Call. The yes. book is on Amazon. I'm really excited about the book because the book is a, a, a means to encourage, motivate, and get people moving in their particular uh, skill, talent, and ability. And everyone has a particular call that they were placed on this earth 
to accomplish. And this book is to help you and to motivate you and to stimulate you to get going, to do the things which God has called you to do and to be diligent with them and not to allow obstacles or setbacks to set you up that you cannot make that comeback. So um, you can get the book. It's on Amazon or you can email us directly on the website, melholder.com, or you can just call the office and order the book at 718-485-5550. Uh, Outstanding. Uh, our producer, Karanda, do you, um, on, we, we're closing now, I guess. So you have anything, input? Absolutely, absolutely. Mel, we just enjoyed you on this evening. I enjoyed your videos. I look forward to seeing you again in person when you come back to Greenville. I actually look forward to going up to New York just to seeing you live <laughs> in person, you know. So we do thank you here from Bible Take. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. It's a pleasure, and I always look forward to visit you all. And, uh, and I'm just really grateful that, um, you know, he has placed us together, not just as people, but as brothers in the Lord. And that is really a blessing to me. And sis brothers and sisters in the Lord also. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, uh, Pastor Jordan had mentioned that about you playing live. Mm -hmm. uh, we can't make it happen. Uh, yeah, with a lot of prayer of faith and, uh, and, and, and get me an instrument. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, didn't, you didn't bring it? You didn't. <laughs> Pastor Jordan, do you have yours? I didn't bring mine either. <laughs> Pastor Jordan also played a saxophone. Okay. Well, I'm gonna I, I owe you one. We, I'll definitely come back and, and, well, and, and take care we'll of that. We'll have to do it next um, time. Not a problem. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you want, again, I have many videos online if you want to go and, and be blessed by one. Uh, please feel free to do that. But um, I'm, I'm going to be in the area again pretty soon. And uh, as we minister at the various uh, churches and uh, events here, please come out, see me, support what uh, God is doing through me. And I believe that it will be a blessing to you. Yeah, absolutely. I'm sure it will. And listen, and if you, um, you can always go to our website, which is www.bibletake.com. And we will post all the events where Mel Holder is going to uh, be uh, participating in. Mel, thank you so much for being here. And, and remember, you said that you're going to come back. Yes, I'll come yeah, back. I mean, <laughs> he said that to all of you guys. You heard it. Say, <laughs> I'll be he back. he's coming back. <laughs> Pastor Jordan, you still there? I'm here. Outstanding, sir. Look, we, I love you. We all love you. You are a wonderful man. Be blessed. Such a man of God. Thank you so much. Okay, um... That's it for the segment. I mean, the time is so short. It's so short. <laughs> but uh, but he said, Mill Holder said he'll be back. Yes, I'll be back. So with that, uh, we're going to take a break. And after the break, uh, we will have Karanda, the producer, out of the control room because she's in there having a good time. <laughs> she's Absolutely. Got, she's going to come and she's going to be sitting right here. We'll be right back. I choose to believe in Jesus Christ and his teaching. I believe he is the way, truth, and life. Without Christ, I am nothing. Because mommy and daddy brainwashed me. There are things in life that you just know in your heart are right. That is why I am a... I was born into a Christian family. Because I need a savior, a personal relationship with the Lord. Not my parents, not my pastors, not my friends, but mom. I was called to serve the Lord. I want others to know him as Lord God and... Welcome back. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that interview, Neil. You did a great job. Uh, glory, all the glory be to God. Listen, Mel Holder, oh my God. Awesome man of God. Awesome man of God. Now, he said he was coming back. He did, and I believe he will. So, we I believe need, he we, will. We need for him to come back. You know, there are so many. I just have, see all these questions right here? Really? I have all these questions to ask Mel Holder, <laughs> but I didn't get to it. God, I didn't God, get to it. 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 Oh. Right here. See, look. What see is all this? these questions? That's like a thousand questions. Know, you can't yeah, answer. It's We're two a thirty-minute show, dude. Two pages. You see that? Two pages. <laughs> uh, but seriously, though. Next um, time we'll we'll get some of those questions next time. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And then I want to thank Pastor Jordan Kenner. Absolutely, Jordan thank from, you. Uh, from from of Chapel, which is right between Greenville and Aiden. Okay, mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. on going towards Aiden. It's on the right. Please on Tuesday nights at seven seven thirty is the Bible study. Please stop in. Stop in. Pastor Jordan, who is my pastor, okay. he's an awesome teacher. Now, right. I'm not talking about him preaching because if you see this man of God preach, oh, my God, wow. you're going to want to come back over and over, continuously coming back to see him. I'm going to have to go check him out. I'm I love his preaching. I love his teaching. I learned so much. I learned so much from Pastor Jordan. All right. Awesome. Well, viewers, I hope you had a wonderful time on the show today. Our time is up, but do be sure to check us out online at www.bibletake.org.
That's www.bibletake.org. Let you let us know how, what you thought about our show today. Feel free to comment and just let us know what you enjoyed and everything like that. And please remember, if you are not a member to a church, please, please find a church. Mm-hmm. Make sure it is a Bible teaching church because God wants us to know His Word. Okay? Absolutely. Until the next time. We'll be right. Actually, we won't be right we back. We're not coming right back. We're, we're we'll about be back to get out of week. here. It's we'll time be to back go. Next week. Yeah. Uh, we'll see you next week. Be blessed. Thanks for tuning in. We hope you've learned more of God's Word. Visit their website at BibleTake.org. That's BibleTake.org. And email your take, which is your opinion about this show's topic, to BT at BibleTake.org. That's BT at BibleTake.org. The only thing that matters is the Word of God.